I don't rem remember when the dinosaur bone was found, but there was a dinosaur bone that was found down in the pond. It's like the dike broke and water kind of made this pond. And so somebody thought it would be really cool that could make dinosaurs, would put, be cool to put the dinosaurs kind of around that area. We just put them there to get people to ask questions about dinosaurs. It has absolutely nothing to do with the school. The old chiller was half efficient. We were running on one compressor versus two. Our old chiller was a dinosaur. So we were running it almost twice as long as we needed to to keep our building cool. And it is now extinct. <laughs> we needed really equipment upgrade, especially at our high school with our chiller. My solution story is the big chiller. So this is... We applied to the Office of the Superintendent of Public Instructions here in Washington State for some grant monies to help us with our energy efficiency needs. When it's too hot in the room, the kids want to just, they don't function as well. They get sleepy. 68 to 70, I think, is the research that that's ideal temperature um, for the kids to learn. That is our new chiller, and that has made life significantly cooler in the buildings for the staff, the kids, and even the custodians. To have that um, computerized makes it really nice so that you can lower the temperature if you need to. I can make the changes from home versus having to run down here and do it. We can turn on individual units just for this particular room versus the whole school. So we monitor the system daily to get the most energy efficiency out of it. We anticipate saving around $60,000 a year, to, and that would be the equivalent to a teacher's salary.